Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Brunch Kennel. Today I'm here with my partial silicone beautiful fairy girl. I bought her from Ashton Drake and she is the Dream Blossom kit by Ina Volperch and I love her so much. I put this set together um, and took some photographs of her, not with the bottle, so <laughs> that bottle looks huge. Um, but I was just getting this ready because I went into my uh, storage downstairs. I know I have a dolly room upstairs and it's getting quite full and I need to rearrange it actually. But I have, my collection is very huge as a lot of you may know and to the people who don't know, well welcome. My, my collection is giant you guys. Um, all through the years I've sold um I think like all together about five dolls and the first there's maybe out of that five I bought back three of them <laughs> well one of them I couldn't buy back but I bought the same kit and from the same artist so it's very hard for me to sell babies because I love them all and there's only two of them that I sold and I'm totally comfortable with them being gone. So, but the rest of them, oh my goodness, it's so hard for me to sell. But I went downstairs into my storage and I thought, you know what, these clothes would look great. I have a Nino sculpt that would look, she looks beautiful in rompers. So I'm going to try this on her. Um, this is a uh, three months, and that's the size that. Oh, excuse my nails. <laughs> I forgot about my nails. Um, I painted them last week, and okay, <laughs> whatever. Besides the point, I am rambling like crazy. But I found this downstairs in my storage, and I thought, you know what? She would look beautiful in this. And I have this vintage. Um, dress that would also fit her very well very pretty and i love that green for easter easter is over oh my goodness time is flying i can't i can't get over it easter is over mother's day is coming up oh wow wow that blew my mind easter just came and went wow it's like almost <sighs> anyways sorry okay Easter is totally gone. Guys, I'm sorry for my absence for a while. I've been so busy. But I'm here today to ramble. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm here today. There is a tag that Suzanne's babies did. And I would love to participate because um, it's all about movies. And I am a movie fanatic. And one of my friends, uh, Jessica, hi Jessica, if you're watching, she asked me to do a video of my, like, my movies and TV series collection on DVD. And you know what, guys? I edited it, and it's over an hour of footage. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> because I own so many movies and so many TV series, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and um, I'm not sure if I own any from the 2000s, <sighs> like recent movie series. I don't think so. I think most of them are the older, traditional, nostalgic stuff. So, um, and the reason why I live so far up north that uh, cable satellite would easily go out if the weather is bad so and also back in the day when I didn't have a satellite or cable our TV stations we only had two TV stations and there was a time when I taught way way high up north where the TV signal didn't even exist it didn't go up that high it was close to none of it back in the day it was just Northwest Territories and yeah, we we needed our VHS so bad. 
Um, and now I have a DVD player. I have Blu-ray surround sound. It's wonderful. I love it. I love my home theater. So anyway, she has some questions. And oh my goodness, I'm just rambling again. Let's show you Illyria. And I will answer these questions. I have to look at my laptop. Let's see. <clears throat> I will also link Suzanne's video in a card and also in the description but um she has 10 questions and sorry if i'm talking far away but um i have to my eyes aren't as good as they used to be so i have to lean into my laptop to see okay number one the first film movie that you've seen as an adult well, the first movie I've actually remember watching, I was far from an adult. I was a child. <laughs> I think I was seven or eight, at least eight. And I remember trying to watch movies and I couldn't get through the whole whatever, how long it was, over an hour. I thought it was way too long. I just couldn't sit there. I couldn't, I couldn't sit throughout a whole movie, but I remember trying to watch a movie and I didn't, like, it's not like I watched it in chunks, although I think I tried to, but it was very hard on VHS back when they actually, it was beta, <laughs> the beta machine and trying to get rewinding it and fast forwarding it on the certain spot was very difficult to, especially for a child and my parents would never do that for me they would never like stop the video and then replay it later or if i would stop the video my parents always said rewind your tapes always so um yeah so what I did was each time I wanted to watch that movie, I would try and sit and watch it as long as I could. I mean, I was really interested in that movie. But I remember the very first time I sat through that whole movie, I was around eight and that movie was Terms of Endearment. And I own it on DVD. And I love it. It's one of my favorite movies. So, yeah, that was my first movie that I've actually watched. Now, as an adult, I remember the first movie in the movie theaters that I've seen was, um, oh, what was it? I don't own it because, um, I mean, it's, uh, or I did own it on VHS, but I don't own it on DVD. I don't. I don't plan on rebuying that, repurchasing that movie, but, um, oh, what's it called? It's in the 90s, and Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas, that movie. You know, that movie that was controversial with her sitting in the chair and crossing her legs? Yeah, that one. I couldn't believe I was watching that in the theater. I think my face turned so red <laughs> watching that movie. But, yeah. That was the first movie I watched as an adult on my own. Basic instinct. That's it. It just came back to me. <laughs> okay. Number two. What's the movie that scared you the most? Uh, some of you may know this, but I am also a horror fanatic. Um, I don't mind watching horror. Um, you know how people love going to the amusement parks and s that feeling on the roller coasters and stuff. I can't do that. But I can. I do like the feeling of being scared. They, I do like the adrenaline watching horror movies. I don't like the adrenaline on roller coaster rides, if that makes sense. So as a kid, I really enjoyed horror movies. And, um, so not many scared me, like, horror movies scared me. I really enjoyed, like, when my dad, uh, it was my dad that showed me The Shining when I was nine, and I absolutely was infatuated with the concept, like, of ESP and Supernatural, and I just became like, wow, this is interesting. 
Uh, my dad is a retired meteorologist, so science was always in my family, always in our thoughts, always in our, like our daily plans, our daily doings, tasks. It was always surrounded by science, including parapsychology and psychology and their verses, like their differences and their similarities. And and I am just rambling like crazy. Oh my goodness. But there was one movie that did scare me. And that was Cujo. Because um, I love dogs. We had a dog. I had a dog from when I was four years old till I was 19. And his name was Casey. He was half German Shepherd, half Black Lab. And he was my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And Cujo was just, <clears throat> sorry, it's just, why am I so emotional? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Cujo was a really scary movie to me. Seeing a dog, I'm also emotional because, <clears throat> sorry, I remember my brother got attacked by a, <clears throat> by a guard dog when he was three years old on his bike. And this guard dog, it was a full-on German Shepherd and attacked my brother. And my brother had to go, uh, he had stitches in his head mostly and various other parts. But yeah, he was attacked and the dog bit his head. And anyway, so Cujo really scared me. Oh, I gotta stop thinking like that. Number three. The film that made you cry the most. Oh my goodness, I'm just crying over memories. <laughs> I cry over sad movies. Uh, movies where people get married. Movies where people achieve accomplishments. Like um, like the ending of Karate Kid. I cried in that. Um, but the saddest movie ever... Now, I refuse to watch again. I will refuse to watch this movie again. And that's The Green Mile with Tom Hanks. And I'm not sure what that other actor's name is, but I cried so hard through that movie that I couldn't breathe for two hours after that movie. Like, I cried so hard. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> Movies that do make me cry that I I can watch over and over are is Cocoon Part Two is very sad, Grumpy Old Man Part Two is sad, um, Steel Magnolias is sad, uh, Coal Miner's Daughter, oh Hope Floats very very sad, uh, Twenty Eight Days um, that's not Twenty Eight Days Later, just. 28 days <laughs> those are two different movies and i own them both <laughs> anyways lots of movies make me cry lots even tv shows i was watching little house on the prairie i own the entire series and i was <laughs> putting on this show and i couldn't believe how much like how sad it is here i am going through a whole box of kleenex something and i don't remember the show being so sad but it is <laughs> Okay, next question. The film that makes you laugh the most. Oh, I have so many movies. When I was a kid, I really loved the Police Academy series. Those are always funny. Uh, John Candy was one of my favorites. Uh, Armed and Dangerous. Oh, I laughed so hard at that. Um, what, there's so many movies that he did that I love. Summer Rental. Um, oh, I can't even think right now how many, but I really loved him. Uh, Steve Martin's, some of his movies are really funny. The Jerk, I really enjoyed that. But recently, my favorite movies that make me laugh is with Melissa McCarthy. And I really, really enjoy her in Tammy and uh, the Ghostbusters, the girl version. I really, really enjoy that movie. Um, but I'm, there's lots. There's The Heat with Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock. That makes me laugh a lot. Um, 
Oh, when I completely forgot about this. But when I was younger, and I own the movies now, is Ernest. Ernest saves Christmas, or Ernest goes to camp. Ernest goes to school. Ernest goes to the army. I Ernest Halloween. I have all of the healers pretty funny. So, slapjack comedy is what makes me laugh. But the latest one, I must say, is Tammy. If I'm really sad and I want a good, funny movie to watch, I'll watch Tammy. <laughs> Next question, number five. The film that means the most to you because of the memories associated with it. <laughs> I do have a movie. Now, this is a totally bizarre movie. When I was 14 years old, I was highly into horror and gore. And I really wanted to share with my friends my passion of these movies. So my goodness, I can't believe I'm admitting to this. But for my birthday party, I invited all my friends on um, a girl's night. And they, we had a sleepover. And I showed them the movie. My favorite movie at that time was... Horror Planet, or it also was called Insteminoid. Now, <laughs> this movie is really cheesy and is really, like, kind of messed up. <laughs> it's about this uh, crew that goes into space, and one of the ladies gets impregnated by an alien, and then she has alien babies, and they kill. <laughs> and anyways, um, my dad, during this one scene... Um, the pregnant lady by the alien is having cravings of flesh. And so she, she kills, well, she didn't kill him first. She killed him while she was opening up his abdominum and, um, eating his gut. So, <laughs> but when, when we were watching him, my friends were like in shock. Some were crying and <laughs> my dad my dad was with us and he shouts out, he goes, mmm, zoodles. And my friends lost it. They started screaming. They started, one tried to crawl out the window. And I'm like, oh my goodness, my poor friends, what have I done? Like, it, that's when I discovered that I am not like every other kid around the block. <laughs> my poor friends are so horrified. I think I traumatized them. Oh my goodness, but if you don't know what zoodles are, they're like a can of, like, alfagetti is another name, or what's, what's the other, spaghettios kind of thing, it's canned pasta dish with, <laughs> but ours in Canada are called zoodles or alfagetti, and I'm not sure what they are called in the States or anywhere else in the world. They might be like spaghettios or something. Yeah, anyways. Oh my goodness, my friends just lost it. So every time that movie, I still own that movie. Um, I got it on DVD as well. It's called Inseminoid. But when I had it on VHS back in the day, it was called Horror Planet for Canada. So I'm not sure why they have different names for different countries, but... Yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness, my poor friends. And that's when I realized, okay, I'm not normal. <laughs> uh, number six, which film do I most relate to? When the most film that I can relate to as a teenager is a French movie called C'est la vie. Um, there's another name for it too. I think it's La Belle de Pe, and um, it's about a teenager like my age. I was twelve when my parents divorced, and we used to go on vacation every summer to my parents' uh, summer cabin or their family. I have family. All my family is from Ontario. My dad is from Ontario. My mom is from the same town. Technically, she's my stepmom, but. I never refer her to as that. But there's this movie called C'est la Vie that 
the characters are exactly like my life. And I love this movie so much because she is going through the same thoughts and feelings that I did when I was her age. She has a younger sister. I had a younger brother. We used to fight each other. We used to love each other. We used to be best friends. We used to um, hang out with all our cousins and try things. Um, like, you know, you know, as teenagers do, they go out and explore. They explore, like, the woods. Um, in their case, they were at the beach, and we used to have beaches, too. So, almost everything in that movie, even the parents fighting in that movie, there's this scene in the movie where the acting is so amazing. It's when the dad and the mom are fighting, and um, it's, yeah, it, the way that they scream and yell and cry is so realistic to me. So, who I don't want to cry over that either. But yeah, um, also, as an adult, the movie that I can relate to the most is the movie Hope Floats. And although I had three sons when my ex-husband left us, um, my, in fact, my youngest, he was only, he was only a baby. He was uh, seven months old when, but anyways, I'm not supposed to discuss that here publicly on YouTube. I apologize if I spoke too much, but that movie, Hope Floats, is one of my movies as an adult that I can relate to. Number seven, the worst movie I've ever seen. Oh, I've, I saw so many. I saw so many, but one that I own that I really, really hate and I just want to break is, um, okay, I own the Brady Bunch TV series, the whole entire series, and I also own a couple of parody movies about Brady Bunch that starred Shelley Long, and I really enjoy them. She did three of them, though. There's two of them I really, really enjoy, but one of them I really, really dislike. It's so boring and it's so stupid and it's not even funny. It's a parody, Brady Bunch, when they visit the White House. I'm not even sure what it's called, but it's so bad. I, I, I'm not sure what to do with that DVD. I still have it. I Maybe I'll keep the case and throw out the DVD somehow or use it in a craft. <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, number eight, what film is the greatest achievement in filmmaking, in my opinion? Ooh, there's so many of them that are just amazing. Um, I can't even think of how many amazing movies, like The Martian. I really, really enjoyed that. I think it's called The Martian with Mark, uh, I can't even think of his last name, Wahlberg, I think. His name is Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg. I really enjoyed that movie. Is it? Wow. Um, I don't know. I can't think of any. I own so many genres that I can't even think of a good, like, Star Wars series is one of my favorite. Uh, the Aliens trilogy is one of my favorite. Um, the Karate Kid original is all my favorite. I don't know, there's, but movie-wise, um, like with musical st scores and dialogue and, um, I, it's a cross between Star Wars or Aliens. <laughs> um, number nine, what film have I watched the most? Oh my goodness, don't, uh, there's so many movies that I've seen. I bet you even over a hundred times. I know the lines by heart. There's so many of them. The original Star Wars, the Aliens, Cutting Kid that I already mentioned. But there's so many more. Dark Crystal, Labyrinth. Um, <laughs> like look, here's here's my movies, and there's three rows. There's three, but two like. One set here and one set behind. I have all of those. I have all of those. Those are some of my favorite VHS I just can't store in the basement. I have my series, TV series. And I have more all up in there too. All in there and in there. And there's even more on the lower shelves. And there's also two rows, like one row and two rows. So there's one row, two rows, and then more on top. 
<laughs> I am so many. Ugh. Um. Uh, I can't even think. It's probably Aliens Part 2, maybe? Or it could be any of the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Total Recall and Running Man. I love those all. Commando. <laughs> Rambo. I love all. Oh, I don't even know. I'm not sure. What film, what film movie are you looking forward to, to seeing most this year? You know what? I've been so far away from movies lately. I don't even know anymore. Because ever since doing YouTube... I've been watching YouTube most of the time, or TV series, so um, I'm not even sure what's coming out anymore. Ever since COVID happened, like where I live, there's only one theater, and it's been closed the entire, since 2020. So it hasn't even reopened yet, so I have no idea. Uh, we haven't visited the city in years. So, since COVID, so, and I don't think we will for a while, so I'm not sure. And we don't even travel much anymore. Gas is just way too expensive. We can't even, like, the nearest Walmart to me is an hour and a half away, one way, and it's a small Walmart, but the nearest city to me is six hours south, just one way, and the gas would just be crazy. But anyways, I have to go. Hope that you guys are doing well. I love you so much. I ran out of time here. Oh my goodness. Just been rambling on. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, very soon. Bye guys. Love you. Bye.